Hey guys! So today I am joined by my beautiful friend Estee oh, stop. from no. Essie Button. If you guys, Bye. you guys know who she is, right? If you don't, where have you been? Um, and I have had a lot of requests ever since we've kind of been friends, like known each other. If we've ever posted any pictures together yeah. or like mentioned we're together, everyone's like, do a collab. So we have done one for you all, and we tweeted asking, what would you like to see? And because we are traveling at the moment, we're in Dallas, Texas, which is super amazing by it's the way, really on a side well. note, it's hot and amazing. Um, we are traveling and so many people requested to see what is in our travel makeup bags. So that is what we are going to do. And can I just say, Fleur, I am so freaking excited to be on your channel. <laughs> like, this is like crazy for me. I'm anyway. excited to have you here Thanks. as a guest. I'm a total fan girl right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna rein it in a little bit. Um, so yeah, you start, cause you're the okay, guest. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull things out randomly. Where's your makeup bag from? This is a really that. old one from Forever 21. And I remember when I bought this, I was like, oh, I really don't need a makeup bag. But it's coming so useful because it's I big without it. being huge. Yeah, I really like it. So the first thing I'm going to pop out is my favorite bronzer of all time. This is the Body Shop's Honey Bronzer. I've got the shade 01. It's got this amazing honeycomb so print. Good. So good. I pretty. love it. Yeah, and I really like it because I'm quite fair skinned. So I like a little bit of a bronzer, nothing too orange and too deep. So love that. My makeup bag is a new one. I'm so excited about this. It's from Betsy Johnson. I got it in TK Maxx. And it is like chunky and square. Very cute. It's tiny in a way, but then it fits so much stuff in Very it. Anyway, structured. and it has this cute little pink, like, little gem. Anyway, I love it. A lot. First thing, we're just going to pull them out at random because there's so much stuff, is my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush. And this is in Mood Exposure. I've been using this, like, every day since I bought it last month. Love it. I'm just Amazing. digging around for mine as well because I thought this was a good time to show you mine as well. Oh! I have, yeah, I was, like, tr very Which distracting. Which do you have? Dim Infusion. Have you tried it? No. It's like more of a pink That's than the good. one that you have. Can but I yeah. borrow it tomorrow? Of course you can. I'd love to try I just thought it. I'd mention that. The next thing I have is my go-to eye palette. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. It's the Sophisticate, the best matte eyeshadow palette I've ever used. I honestly, again, this is another product that I've used like every day pretty much since yeah. I got it. It love looks it. well loved. It is well loved. It's yeah. all dirty and dusty and amazing. Now, I actually forgot to bring eyeshadow. Like, what was I thinking? I always buy palettes, so I'm like, oh, this would be great for traveling, and the one time I travel, I forget it. But I did bring the Maybelline Color Tattoo, and this is the shade Bad to the Bronze. This is like a staple item for me. I've actually already used up an entire one of these. This is my second one. Because I use really? it every day. Yeah, I love it so much. So I like it. That's the only eyeshadow I have. The next thing I have is the Soap and Glory Kick Ass Concealer, which is good for traveling because it has, again, it's like the double layer, it has a powder, and then it has two concealers and a mirror and it's just really really good. I have to try that but I always hear really good things about that. Try it. I know it's good. It's on the list. The list ever growing list of things <laughs> to try. The never ending list. So this is another hourglass product. It's the ambient lighting powder in diffused light. This one's sort of like the yellowy goldeny. What have you done to that? No, I, when I got it it was cracked. How oh, really? I? Yeah. Oh. For my like OCD brain, it was way too much for me. I was like, there's a crack in it, but it's such a nice powder. It's very illuminating, but not too shimmery. Very Love nice. it. I like those a lot. Um, the next thing I have is my mascara. This is Lancome Hypno Star. Love the packaging. Love the mascara. Talk about it way too much. So I'm gonna stop. <laughs> I'm trying to find my mascara. I've got the Tarte one, which I've lost the lid for. And when I first got this, the lid fell off and just it fell. Yeah. Just, so it's yeah. good. I really like this mascara a lot. It's just like a nice lengthening, volumizing all arounder. Like it's a good everyday mascara, I think. And I, I love need to try Tarte stuff. I haven't tried Tarte. Tarte I've tried like good. their blushes, and that's it. Tarte is good. The next thing I have is two foundations are the same, but they're in different colors. There is a reason behind this. I'm kind of in between shades in Chanel foundations, in between a. 20 and a 30, and I fake tan like the day before I came here. So I was 30, but I'm gonna probably gonna be 20 by the end of the trip. So yeah. I brought both. So the foundation I brought was the Chantecaille Just Skin. I know Fleur really likes this. As yeah, well. I do like it. It's the anti smog tinted moisturizer. Just like a nice coverage. So, no, it's like a nice base evener, yeah. you know? And it's just comfortable to wear as well and really moisturizing. So. Oh, good nice. one. I have the MAC Brow Gel, which looks gross. These always look so I gross. Know. I don't know why they don't put them in a, opaque packaging. Yeah. But yeah, I have that. Speaking of opaque brow packaging, this is the looks Anastasia great. Clear Brow Gel. Just another clear brow gel. And then my brow product of choice is the Hourglass Brow Arch. I'm trying to get Fleur to use this. <laughs> She's not going for it. it. I need but, to try it. Yeah, it's good. The next thing I have is the Kevin Aquan Celestial Powder and Candlelight. Everyone talks about this and it's so worth the hype. I love this. I do you not it. like it? I yeah. love it. Okay, I was going to be like, your, your face was like, I no, don't, I, I don't know. My agree. face was like, because it's in a small 
thing. I, I have love a big one. A do you? Yeah. I love this pa small package. Yeah, this must nice. be new. I only, must, must be. be. This must, must be new. I only got it a couple of weeks ago. Like this must be new. It must be new. That's really handy. Love it. So for blush, I brought this Daniel Sandler watercolor blush if I wanted something a little more dewy. Have you tried these? No. They're really cool. So you shake them up and good. it's like watercolor and you just like paint it on and you look like a little <laughs> pond or something like that. In like a, good, a pond. In a good way. In a good way. A stinky pond. <laughs> I also brought another br brush. Blah, blah. <laughs> blah. I also brought another blush. This is from Becca. These are brand new. I actually got sent this like the day before I came out here. Mm. It smells like ice cream. Oh. Slash cowpole. What is cowpole? You know what cowpole is. Amelia's here. Doesn't this smell like cowpole? <laughs> Am I missing it's something? A, it's a children's medicine. Yeah, it oh, smells like cowpole. This British is actually thing. really nice. I'm wearing this right now. Love it. Is it a British thing? I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. Okay, I've got eyelash curlers. Boring. And I've also got my Stila um, Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner in case I wanted to go a little more dramatic, you know? Well, hey, yeah. I have two primers, a face primer, a mini Benefit Professional, which is great, and an eye primer, which is the L'Oreal Magic Decrease. I've got two concealers I'm going to lump together, the Dior Skin Nude, it's like a hydrating concealer, I really like that, especially for blemishes, because you don't want the crusting and the drying and all of that going on, and then for under my eyes, I've got the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer, which I love. You tried it? Clearly you love it. Yeah, I yeah. have tried it. I haven't used it in ages though. Maybe I'll take it out. I had the same thing. Didn't use it for ages. Brought it back into my life. It's wow. Again. I'm going to lump all the lip products together because otherwise we're going to be here all night. Yeah. I brought Chanel Parody, which is a really nice kind of middle that's tone, nice. like pinky nice. Okay. This is your kind of color, that, like a coral pinky. Like like. Um, and then I brought the Julie Hewitt nude color, which is ED, which I love, one of my favorite nudes. I also brought an Urban Decay one, I think it's called Love Light, which is in my handbag. Um, and I brought my Chanel Famous, which is my favorite red. It's like got a slight kind of pink shimmer oh, to it. Oh, that looks so good. I love it. It looks gross. It's been well loved. And then I also bought my YSL Root Gloss Volupte in 102, which is like a shimmery pinky color. Those which glasses are amazing. Is nice. They taste great. Yeah. What lip products did okay, you bring? I brought with you? lots of lip products, like a lot. So I'm just going to choose three. I brought the Revlon Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in the shade Rendezvous. I also brought the Maybelline Elixir in the shade Fuchsia Flourish, which I love as well. And in case I wanted to go a little bit more, you know, a little bit more red, I brought the Mac Lady Danger, which is like, oh. Uh, yeah, it's good. I bought two mini Benefit. These are actually from the Benefit advent calendar that I hadn't used yet. I love these. Um, Hula, which is just so useful for traveling. And I also brought Dandelion, but I haven't actually used this yet. Dandelion's a good one, like, every day. Yeah, I haven't used that yet, so yeah. I'm gonna try that. Maybe try that. I'm actually all out. Are you? I have yeah. a couple more things in here. All right. I have the L'Oreal, um, what Amber are they called? Rush. Infallible Amber Rush, because it's just a great, like, shimmery... You were the one that I discovered that Rose because gold. of. Oh, Does really? That yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And then I have the YSL Touche Eclat. I don't know where that went in my brain. This is the limited edition, like, animal printy one. Um, yes, which is good for highlighting this yeah. area. It takes a just lot there. of makeup to look like this, apparently. Yeah, we look like... Really different. You should see us in the morning. Yeah, you should. You, well, yeah. you probably shouldn't. Really. If you do want to see us with no makeup in the morning, we have actually all been vlogging this yes, trip. We so have. yeah, I will link like my vlog channel and Essay's vlog channel and Amelia's vlog channel, who's sitting in the corner like a creeper right now and watching the film. Us. Um, that is it. We're about to run out of battery, so we have to go. We have filmed a video on Essay's channel, which is a drugstore dash. Um, that was the second most requested video was to do a drugstore haul. Yeah. So we have done that for you as well. So go and check that out. Click on her face. Thanks. Oh yeah, right there. Click on the face. Um, and we will see you again very soon. Bye. Back. So today I'm going to be doing another in my top 10 under 10 pound series. And today I'm going to be talking about mascaras. Now, excuse me if there's any.